Classic Vibe series done horrendously well for Fenders or, or Squire, just in general. Uh, those guitars were so good that you could buy 380 pounds worth of guitar and it had like brass saddles and it was just really, really good guitars for the money. Mm. Great sounding Duncan design pickups, mm. just really good. Um, so on this model, um, this is the walnut finish, but it's been stained. So once again, you've got the laminated maple bodies. Um, two volumes, two tones, just like the original standard Starcaster. Um, they've uh, vintage tinted and glossed uh, with polyurethane on the uh, neck, so it's not a satin finish like the other two. Um, you've got a 9.5 inch radius on this, so it's your standard Fender style 9.5, 9.25, yep. which we'll get to. Um, you've got Squire's own versions of Fender's wide range humbuckers there. Yep. Three-way selector switch, hardtail bridge, tunematic style uh, bridge there as well. Thing that I was going to say about the guitars that I don't like, but other people like Tom Roberts, who's a mm. friend of ours, he really likes is lacquered fretboards and necks. I quite like them. Okay, yeah, because I, I was playing these earlier, and um, obviously the other two aren't lacquered, mm -hmm. and I think it, it, whether it sounds nice, I don't know, but it feels nicer. I me. think it, to me, it adds an expense to it. It feels more expensive. Maybe that's why. Maybe yeah. it's a psychological thing. Yeah, I think so. Because because one thing when you're buying affordable guitars that can often be an issue is the fretboards can be a little bit scratchy, right? Yes. They can just have that kind of... Yeah, which you don't and, get with a And you don't get fret. it with that. Yeah. So I think maybe that's why. I mean, grab a bit of oil or conditioner, condition the fretboard, yeah. um, and look after the fretboard, and it will become way oh, yeah. less scratchy yeah, yeah, than yeah. it is. So this is um, the Affinity. So this is the Affinity. And Candy one, Apple Red. I mean, once again, um, another line in the Squire range that's done very, very well for them in terms of like, if you're looking to start out playing guitar, um, the Bullet and the Affinity series Strats and Tellies because, are yeah. so good. In, in terms of affordable guitars and, and the cheapest, mm -hmm. most affordable Squires you can mm -hmm. buy, the Affinities come in second to the Bullets. To the Bullet, yeah. So the Bullets in the shop, um, depending on uh, finish or you know how the world is doing at that point in time with fender sales and stuff or just in general um, when I first saw the bullets they were coming in at uh, under a hundred pounds yeah. um, now they're sitting around a hundred nine pounds yeah, so yeah. they're still the most affordable squire in the entire range yeah. then it bumps up to the affinity where yeah. you have a wider range of colors and um, pickup choicings and now they've added the Starcaster to the affinity range um, so with this model, as Mark said, you've got a candy apple red finish. Um, lovely a little bit of flake in there. It's a really gorgeous finish, actually. It's probably my favorite finish out of these three guitars. <laughs>
you've got the standard humbuckers, uh, Squire um, Affinity humbuckers. You've got a 9.25 inch radius, so it's your classic fender but modern feeling fretboard, uh, which they use on the majority of their sort of American standards and stuff like that. Um, you've got volume tone, three-way select switch, a tunematic style bridge, um, and yeah, once again, um, a satin finish neck and fretboard, just like the contemporary model. It's an acquired taste, I think, the guitar in terms of the actual shape and headstock and everything like that. It's I just think, like a wonky 339. Yeah, basically. Um, but I think that the star, they, they've they done this sort of thing because the Starcaster is still a loved... I think it was the guy from... Um, what was that band uh, where he used to... Um, Mr. Brightside. Killers. The Killers. Like, the guitar player from The Killers used to use an original Starcaster. Oh, really? And ever since he started using... when he, I tell you what, when I was working in the shop and he was playing that, all we got was kids coming in saying, you got any of this guitar that the guy from The Killers played? Well, it's like the... Um, is it the Offsets? Yeah, yeah. The, the Panic at the Disco dude plays one. Oh, does he? Like, loads of them were really popular. Mm. So, it really, you know... Yeah, exactly. Just get a celeb playing them. Exactly. And then door So this is the contemporary version. Yep. So Squire did release a bunch of contemporary models uh, in the shape of a Jazzmaster and a Strat and a Tele, I believe, um, which were all basically uh, like high gain, modern metal sort of versions of their Squire guitars. They had a Strat like with a reverse headstock mm -hmm. and all that sort of stuff. So the specifications on the contemporary model, uh, this is um, a beautiful surf uh, finish by Squire. It's got like a bit of a flake in there. It's really nice. So I like um, a nice glitter. Yeah, I like a nice, a nice, a glass. Uh, a glass. I like a nice sort of flake finish. Yep. Volume tone, three-way selector switch. Uh, Squire's own ceramic active circuitry. So you've got a set of active humbuckers there. Um, it's layered uh, laminate maple uh, mm -hmm. body, uh, top, back and sides. Um, you've got a, a satin urethane finish neck, so it's like a polyurethane finish, uh, but in a satin. Um, difference in terms of playability with this one, this has got a 12 inch radius fretboard and a really, really slim neck on it. So yeah. it has been built specifically for that sort of modern shred metal or rock high gain stuff mm. in mind. Um, so that's your contemporaries, um, and it's got the little uh, battery capacity section just in the back there for your active. I mean, section. you've been playing it. How um, how does it feel for you for um, that for that style? They were all horrendously out of tune, but once they were all tuned up, this guitar in particular felt comfortable just because of the 12 inch radius. So the yeah. flat fretboard yeah. um, felt really easy to play. The action is set super low, but it's not buzzy. Um, yeah, felt really good. None of the notes were choking out, even when you bent all the way. Or like a tone and a half or two tones up. Um, yeah, I'm not a massive fan of the headstocks on the Starcasters. They are pretty big, but um, I do like the matching finish in the little section divot on the headstock there. I do like that. Um, that's a nice little touch. Uh, these guitars are built in Indonesia as well. The okay. Contemporary series. <laughs> Kind of had to take it with a pinch of salt when you're buying um, a really, really affordable guitar. Basically. Yeah, because these are coming in at well, 
like a maximum of about 380 quid maybe. Yeah. Yeah. These guitars in specific, we've got a wide range of colors. Um, we do have them in the store, so come down, check them out in the store because they're definitely worth to check out and play. Get your hands on them and see how you feel because there's small nuanced differences between them, apart from the contemporary with the active humbuckers. But in terms of the fretboard feels, gloss, ungloss, wide range, normal, humbuckers, uh, wide range or contemporary active. There's quite a variety there. So definitely come in and check them out. I think just quickly, um, just having a little discussion about you know, I think people, when people, you know, because these are affordable guitars, right? Mm -hmm. So these are going to be suit people that are maybe starting out yeah. or people that maybe just want a, a cheap guitar to have in a house yeah, and throw around. around. And there's nothing wrong with the Infinity range for that. Uh, but people tend to go for strats, they tend to go for tellies. I mean, I imagine at the shop you sell more strats and tellies mm -hmm. than anything else. Yeah. Um, but I think, you know, this is going to suit some players much better than a strat or a telly. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's definitely worth getting your hands on one. Mm -hmm. And if you're looking for a guitar around two, three hundred quid, um, definitely you know try these Consider out. Consider these, yeah. Um, and hollow bodies all you know always have a unique nice sound. warm sounds. Yeah, and and these are really resonant as well. It's the first They're thing loud I guitars. Picking them up. They're um, loud, yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm I kind of like them. I'm not cool. definitely not against them. Cool. Okay. Well, tell us what you think in the comment section below. I'd like to know what your thoughts are on these new models because they are brand new. Um, watch some YouTube videos, get back to us and just tell us what you think. Well, there you go. This is the new Squire Starcaster range. Come check them out. My name is Joss. My name is Mark. And thank you very much for watching.